but I've been waiting about a year to get back on it. Uh, this is neither of my Bronze Age Horde, as well as class goes now. Uh, it's an old footpath. I had some hammers, some Victorian silver, all kinds of stuff off here. It's just a footpath that cuts straight through. It's been uh, ploughed and rolled, so I've uh, jumped on the biggest coil I've got. And uh, we're going to see what the mine lab comes up this morning. For about three hours. So, rather than any more talking, I'm going to do some swinging and uh, see how we get on. Well, I've had some junk, a couple of bits of rubbish, and there we go. The lead shot or musket ball has decided to show its face. Uh, yep, thought it was. Uh, it's a little diddy one, but there we go. I knew I was going to get one. I have done this field. I did uh, really methodically detect this part of the field last year, but it's been turned over, so fingers crossed it gets better. Right, I got the signal, but it wasn't brilliant, and I've dug down a little bit, and then the signal improved somewhat. So I've just taken my headphones out, as you can hear it over the wind. <laughs> Hanging around the top there, it keeps jumping, and it sounds rather pleasant. So, uh, I don't know, but there's one way to find out if my pinpointer behaves. I'm going to come back to this because my pinpoint is playing up. Well, it turns out it was a button. Uh, not my first one this morning, I've had a couple of little ones. Uh, this one's a bit more substantial. Uh, I can get my glove off. Yep. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's not. It's got something on this side. I'll just give it a clean when I have a break. Unless bottom of a cartridge but I'm not sure could even be a weight actually I'm not sure come back to that one right six feet away that's a steady signal that one Left corner. But I'm afraid this wind noise is going to ruin it Let's pinpoint it hideously wrong. No, it's out. To a fashion. Do we have there? Oh, it's another button. That's a fair size button. Can't knock it, I suppose, but nothing, uh, nothing too interesting. Still got the shank on it. Oh, I tried. I did try. I tried some more live digs. Well, that what coil is on form now. It's got me digging some deep holes, but. I haven't fully looked at it yet. It's a buckle, obviously. But that, uh, yeah, kind of run of the mill buckle. But it was deep, very deep, and it was quite a nice signal, really. Up there, very similar to that button sign kind of signal I just had. I'm running it on about 20 sensitivity, any higher than that, and it gets really skitty. Uh, deep recovery, noise channel, I think it's about six, five or six. So you're not gonna miss the little stuff, but I'm not concentrating on big or small, kind of in the middle. Uh, 
for ev other SE users. Ah, sitting on the surface here. No wonder it was a loud noise. That looks could be a thimble. It's been dried out in the sun. Not sure if it what it is. I thought it was a uh, bullet casing, but no, I think. I think that could be a thimble actually. Have a, a better look. Uh, quite possibly. Let me have a, a gentle clean and I'll uh, come back when I know. Yep, you can just make out the little dimples on the side there till I clean it properly. But yeah, one thimble. Not the first one I've had here either actually. I've got a big list of stuff that I found this area and I did look, but yeah, good stuff, good stuff, still stuff to be had. Right, it's out, let's see if the pinpointer behaves, yeah, I'm sure it sounds promising, please don't be rubbish. I think I can see it there. I think it is rubbish. Oh, unless it's some sort of strap fitting end, that kind of shape, but I think it's the wrong material. Yeah, I think that's modern. Let's see if we can do another one. It's not. There you go. Nice, steady. Not jumping about too much. So, oh, get the spade in there. I don't think it'll be too deep. Hopefully not. The trouble with this big, big coil is I'm finding sometimes pinpointing can be tricky. Right, my pinpoint is being a pain. Right, I'm going to come back. Ah, another one. It's got the little... Uh, I presume that's when they were moulded. This one may not, not have been fired, I suppose. I don't know. I presume that's where they were moulded in the where they were clamped and that was just the runoff bit. Hmm. Okay, well another musket ball, there you go. Alright, I'm pretty sure this one's out. Me, yeah, point is on. It's uh there's a weird signal. And it's a big enough hole, but I don't know if it's out. I'm sure I weighed the detector in this area and it was here. Maybe it's not out. Maybe, uh, maybe it's in the wall of the hole. Yeah. Um, yeah. That appears to be where it is. Oh, is it going to oh, that looks like a modern bit of rubbish. Sounded a lot better. Oh, we're getting up. It's just a modern bit of um, crap. Weird shape though. Like a fork. Although. Is it molten or is it formed? I don't know. That almost looks like legs. Is that legs? Could that be a figure? I found a, a lead chicken. It was peculiar. I reckon that's a lead figure. You know? uh, is that a tunic he's got on there? Could be a rifle or a pitchfork or something. Ooh, right. One for cleaning a bit later. I swear there was some sort of shooting range around here back in the day. Wow, there's lots of musket balls. Right, this is an hour, I'll just stop for a bit. This is um, an hour and a half ish. Um, that little dude there, he is a lead figure. Still got the buttons on his tunic, I like that. It's 
nice bit is not a little bit more complete but you can see the buttons he's got a tunic on you can see around the back he's got his uh his pouch hanging off his side yeah cool I like that that i think could be bomb shrapnel he's got three holes one cent center is a large hole and the two small holes each side for a key i think so that obviously screwed into something might not be bomb shrapnel but it was like a plug screw in plug i think um up there with the lead figure in coolness is the symbol i like it it's got some pattern etched into the bottom there a couple of sort of rings of dashes all the way around i'm not going to clean it any more than that out here so i'm not going to try and empty it or straighten it yep one thimble three bits of shot four buttons i'm not sure what that was that that was as i was walking back to get my cup of coffee i don't know hold on to it just for now and uh yeah so the 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 ratio of junk to fines is about even, actually slightly more fines and junk this time. But I have, I did do this last year uh, quite meticulously. I've just taken the big coil off and I've put the ultimate coil back on. And uh, see how we get on for the next I think like an hour and a half left. Right, if I can get around the wind noise, it's in there. I don't know what it is. I think it's rubbish actually. Oh, uh, the other half that can Right, I've just flicked this one out with the uh, spade. Haven't even touched it. Now it looks like a coin to me, but there's no actual guarantee, is there? I know what this place is like. Oh, no. Can't see a shank. I'm pretty much on the footpath now. This is a footpath. I don't know what this is going to be. It's sort of half penny size. Uh, I'm not going to scratch around too much, but I can see a little bit on it. I'm going to give that a wash when I finish, I think. I've got about probably an hour-ish. Yeah, let's not pick it too much. First coin, result. I didn't know if I find really any, because... Uh, so I battered this area a bit last year. But, as they say, a field is never done. Super strong signal, really close to the surface. I didn't use my spade, this is just raked it out with my hand. I just saw a glimpse of green there. There. Yep. Have a quick look at that. There it is. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's big. It's probably a penny. Pretty good, uh, yeah, I'm going to say it's a penny. See if I can uh, just clean the date for now and I'll uh, let's have a quick look, shall we? And one more minute. That's as much as I'm going to clean. Uh, I hope it's focusing because I can't see a thing. 1928, George V penny. Just make a George V around the edge there. Not that I needed that. 1928 was enough. Great stuff. I have about half an hour left. Hmm. Very, very deep. Very deep. That's, uh, I don't know. That foot. I thought it was lead. I just pulled it out. Completely the wrong colour for lead. Could just be rubbish. But it just looked a funny shape. I thought I'd try and uh, find out what it is. Um, I had a Bronze Age hoard Ooh, about 400 metres away. The stuff that was in that was this colour. Big lumps of this. I'm presuming this is bronze. Uh, not found much in the area similar. Hmm. I shall clean it in a bit when I finish with the coin and some bits and bobs. Uh, but I'm definitely going to hold on to that. That's not like a odd bump, lump of lead, that's a, a 
decent sized piece of I'm saying it's bronze, it's copper colour but hmm, well not really any of the clearer but still interesting. Right, stuck in here. It's just come out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna go with button but ever the optimist. Could be a coin, could be something completely different. Let's just knock it out of there, shall we? Or button. Bad, still got the shank. I like it with the shank, that's just, I don't think there'll be any detail on that when I wash it. Hmm, never mind. Just walking back to my bag, quite literally, my bag is there. And I haven't been detecting really, I've been detecting in the middle of the field, I left my bag at the edge. As I walk back, just flick this out with the pinpointer. I think that's another thimble. Looks a good one if it is. There's no guarantee it is, but I'm pretty sure, yep, with a little, there, there are some dimples all around the edge, that's really nice. It's not, not too shabby, only a little dent. That's about my fourth, fourth or fifth pin out of this field actually. Right, I'm just going to walk over to my bag, give everything a clean I've got, the best I can, and uh, go home. Right, we'll have a quick look for... There's me three hours. There's the thimble. That's me last one I just had. It's really nice actually. Really defined. I want to clean it when I go home. Give it a soak. And get all that out from inside. There. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. It's a bit bigger than the other thimble. Which is dried out now. That looks, I would say that's newer than that one. But I'm no thimble expert. Not sure what that was, but uh, give it a clean later. One little lead soldier, one 1928 George V penny. I think that's a George III. Um, I'm gonna clean it properly when I get in. Yeah, one little lead figure. That strange thing, don't know. It's definitely heavy, very heavy. Actually, it's definitely bronze. One buckle, unsure on that. I will probably go over a bit of shrapnel. There's a bit more. And a mixture of buttons and some musket shot. So, not bad, not bad for three hours. I'm happy, got me out of the house. And I'm gonna go and pick my boy up and we're gonna go and do some magnet fishing. So if you like magnet fishing, not everyone does, uh, there will be, hopefully, an interesting video. If not, and we're gonna go out again tomorrow different location and uh, pretty certain it could be something good but other than that detecting wise I'm probably back out on the beach within the next seven days and I'll probably be back out on a field within the next two weeks so see you then